Hello, and a warm welcome to another tutorial for CNEC NMS. In the following video, we'll take a closer look at the subject of inventory and device management under CNEC NMS. But what does inventory and device management mean for us in our network? You as customer can use this function under CNEC NMS to find out which devices are present in addition to the network what firmware they're running, or what status they have. We'll now carry out the following three steps in the CNAC NMS. First off, I'm going to show you how to add new scan areas or manage them in general. Then we'll take a look at the global inventory list and also at the local inventory list on our operations. Finally, I'll show you once more how you can manage your newly added devices. Let's take it step by step as follows. First, we'll go to our control, that is the higher level instance, where we'll edit the scan areas or add a new scan area for our network. Afterwards, we'll take a look at the global inventory list and what options we have to export it. In the next step, we switch to our operations, that is the local instance, and take a look at the local inventory list there and also manage the device access. Let's now switch directly into the CNEC NMS. On the control, we now have the option of expanding our scan areas. We're currently only monitoring one device, and under System Administration Operations, we'll now simply add the additional scan areas. I've already created a scan area, but deactivated it for right now. By checking the box, I now have the option of reactivating it. In this mask, I can also add further scan areas. Since our operations have changed, the setting between control and operations needs to be synchronized to be able to carry out the network scan. I can now execute the network scan by simply clicking on Start Network Scan. The scan completes within a few seconds, and now we can see our devices on the control under Network Monitoring Devices. From this overview, we can generate the first inventory list. We can also add additional filters and then simply export a CSV file under Action. The result? looks like this. I have switched to the Network Monitoring Operations tab. I also receive a message that my network scan has found new devices. Now let's look at the global inventory list. Under Network Monitoring Reports, I have the option of creating a new report. It can be run either as an availability report or as an inventory report. Here, I can select different roles and also different device areas. It can also specify that I would like this to be done according to a certain time interval, say weekly or monthly or just once, like right now. To get my inventory list, I have to run the report once. Under Report Execution, I can immediately see the result and export my inventory list, for example, as a CSV file. Now we want to take an inventory in operations as well. First of all, the device list itself can also be exported as a CSV file. In Operations, under Network Monitoring Reports Inventory, further information from our devices can be read out. For example, we can obtain information about which devices from which manufacturers are in our network, which IP address ranges we have, or which device categories switches, end devices, routers, there are. 
The last tab, PROFINET, allows us to get more information about our PROFINET roles in our network. For example, do we have input devices, input-output devices, or controllers in our network? In the last few minutes, I have shown you how to manage devices under CNEC NMS. I wish you lots of fun in applying what you have learned and rediscovering your network. Thank you.